A top ranking executive of ComEd's parent company, Exelon, made an abrupt exit. But as CBS 2's Jermont Terry explains, and Promajori's departure raises more questions about the connections to one state senator under investigation. Can you guys tell us anything about what brought you here, what you're looking into? From the moment the feds started to investigate Democratic State Senator Martin Sandoval, it was clear the scope was wide. The search warrant of the federal raids on Sandoval's Springfield office last month revealed agents were looking for evidence linked to items related to any official action taken in exchange for a benefit. The documents show the FBI looked at ComEd and its parent company, Exelon, along with other companies. Just days after Sandoval stepped down as Transportation Committee Chair, CBS2 has learned Exelon CEO Ann Pomajori called it quits. She resigned immediately from the Fortune 500 company. Is the timing of the CEO's resignation a coincidence? Our sources indicate a strong connection, especially when you consider Pomajori walks away just over a year after stepping into the CEO position. She spent more than 10 years with the utility company. And let's not forget, Sandoval sits on the state's Energy and Public Utilities Committee. The Fed slapped ComEd and Exelon with a subpoena for records of any communications with Sandoval. The utility company said last week it intends to comply with the probe. The company went a step further and formed an oversight committee. Within days, the CEO cuts all ties abruptly. Now, Sandoval's connection with ComEd, it goes back more than a decade. We should point out that Sandoval has not been charged despite all of these raids. As for Exelon, a spokesperson had no clear reason for the CEO's quick departure. Live in the newsroom, Jermont Terry, CBS2 News. Brad. All right. I know she is CEO of Utilities. Thank you, Jermont.